Okay, now we're doing number four on the back of the review sheet. Number four says, Frank, a San Francisco hot dog vendor and son of a physics teacher, has fallen asleep on the job. When an earthquake strikes his 300-kilogram hot dog cart. So now we're going to write our given. Mass is equal to 300 kilograms. It rolls down Knob Hill and reaches point A. So there's a diagram there that shows point A and point B. At a speed of 8 meters per second. So his initial velocity is 8 meters per second. How fast is the hot dog cart going at point B when he finally wakes up and starts to run after it? So now I want to find basically the final velocity. Now we have a lot of other information in this problem. We know that gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared. And we have two, two heights. So when you look at the picture, you have the height of A and you have the height of B. So we can write down the initial height is going to be 50 meters and the height, the final height is going to be 30. Now if you want you can call it A and B but all along we've been calling it initial and final so I just want to stick with that same notation because I don't want to confuse you. In layman's terms, obviously we're going to do conservation of energy. So in layman's terms, the total energy before is equal to the total energy after. Now what is the total energy? Well, the total energy is the sum of the kinetic and the potential. So KEI plus PEI is equal to KEF plus PEF. Now is anything zero here? No, because initially there's a velocity and final there's a velocity. Initially you're a certain height above the ground, final you're a certain height of ground. So you notice how nothing is zero. Normally when we do conservation of energy if something's zero we get rid of it, make it go to zero. Nothing is zero. So now we're going to expand this and we're going to say kinetic energy is one half mv squared, but it's one half mvi squared, plus the potential energy, which is mghi, and then this is equal to one half mvf squared plus mghf. Now when we look at this, we see that we have the mass, we have gravity, we have HI, we have HF, and we have VI. So actually our only unknown is VF. Would I just substitute in all the values? I wouldn't. I mean, I would rearrange the equation. I would maybe get rid of the M's. You know, if you want, you can multiply by 2. If you don't want to do that, you don't have to get rid of the M's. But you notice everything is multiplied by M. So if you want, you could get rid of the M's. I would rearrange the equation and solve for VF. So I would say VF is equal to, and if you want to leave the one-halves there, even though your math teacher wouldn't like it, I would, you know, you can do it, plus MGHI minus MGHF divided by one-half M square root. Then I would substitute, oh, I got rid of the M's, I forgot. Then what I would do is I would substitute all my vowels. It would be a lot nicer if you did this without the one-halves, but it doesn't matter. So I have one-half VI squared plus GHI minus GHF over one-half. And now if I just substitute in my values, I have one-half 8 squared plus 9.8 times 50 minus 9.8 times 30 divided by one-half. So VF comes out to be 21.5 meters per second. The key to doing these problems is you have to identify your given correctly. So that means chunking it. As you read each thing, write it down. 
If there's not a picture like this, in this case, draw your own sketch because the sketch is going to help you to visualize what's going on in this problem and then also by writing down your given, you see your, there's only one you don't have. The difference between this problem and some of the other ones we did is in a lot of the other problems, it, like the, uh, initially the kinetic energy was zero, like when you drop something. And then right before it hit the ground, the potential energy was zero. Nothing was zero in this problem. So it's just different, but the concepts are the same in that it's conservation of energy, that the total amount of energy remains the same. So the total energy before is equal to the total energy after.